So first impressions, does this look like murder or an accident to you? It looks like murder, judging from all of the uh, photographic and video evidence. Uh, many have compiled uh, a sequence of uh, images right, that were uh, released by the photographer, Helen Richardson. She happened to be there. Uh, they compiled it, and it appears very clearly that the uh, shooter uh, had been trying to accost the, uh, the victim, Lee Keltner. Right? So Lee doesn't move. He stands his ground. I mean, he actually moves backwards from, from, from the shooter, and the shooter pulls his firearm and shoots him. It, it, to me, that seemed like murder. And obviously, people will say, you know, the, the victim slapped the killer. Yeah, a slap is a slap because he was trying to reach for something, uh, possibly disarm uh, the victim, and he had a right to do so. He, but he backed off, and then the shooter simply blew him away. There's no call for that. There's no reason for that. Uh, people can say, oh, yeah, he was carrying mace, but that is a disproportionate response. You, you do not shoot someone for uh, carrying mace. It's, it's ridiculous. And what also is ridiculous, at least in my opinion, is it seems like this Nine News team seems to be somewhat, I don't know if they were in league or were working with this man who was wearing a uh, Black Guns Matter t-shirt. We saw him throughout the day picking fights with different members of the Patriot rally. He would just go up to people, start harassing them, calling them all these horrible names, and then try and provoke a reaction. And then, of course, that local NBC affiliate, the Nine News, they just happened to be right there. They could get all the video and all the pictures they wanted of this, you know, big, scary Trump supporter rally turning into violence. But, of course, like I said, it seems like this man seemed to be working with them. You see them at times nodding to each other. You see them following around each other. And then to your point, we see the man wearing the Black Guns Matter t-shirt. He confronts Lee Keltner, the victim who ends up being shot, starts yelling at him. I hear something about a knife even in that fight. And to your point, as Lee walks away, that's when the security guard seems to kind of either lunge at him or come up to him. You see Lee slap him away to your point. You see the security guard reaching for him. Lee backs up and then of course he's shot. So what do we know right now about the NBC affiliate? I've heard that uh, they have some reporters who seem to be somewhat nice or toward, or lenient, I should say, towards Antifa and other far left rioters. Certainly uh, one of their reporters and I, he wasn't present at the scene, so uh, you can't blame him for this. But he seems to be friendly with Antifa. His, his name is Kyle Clark. I'm not saying he's Antifa one way or the other, but Antifa people seem to accept him as one of them. They said, you're one of us. Uh, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, uh, your safety at these locations. They've, they've mentioned this, and he has repeatedly in the past uh, made fun of conservative concerns about Antifa and the dangers they pose. Uh, obviously, people are afraid of Antifa. They, they see what, you know, they see in the news about Antifa attacking random civilians. And uh, he said that Antifa is a boogeyman, right? He tweeted something to that uh, measure, and it got a lot of retweets, and mostly from Antifa people. And they seem to accept his view that Antifa is not a dangerous group. And yet here we are. Uh, you know, uh, months later after he sent that tweet out, uh, a man has been killed by what appears to be what Joe Biden would call just an idea. Exactly, just an idea. And here we have another man dead. Just a month or so ago, we saw in Portland another Antifa militant hunted down and execute a member of Patriot Prayer, another Trump supporter, when there was that Trump caravan that was driving throughout the town. And however, it seems like Republicans, at least in, you know, in politics, they seem to be pretty silent about this. We see Joe Biden, he literally launched his presidential campaign off of the events in Charlottesville three years ago. And then here we've had Charlottesville several times over just this past summer of Trump supporters being targeted and executed for their beliefs. And Republicans, by and large, are missing an action here. It's a, they don't seem to care. They, they think, oh, it's a touchy subject. I mean, they can't come to the defense of an innocent man like Aaron J. Danielson or uh, to the defense of uh, Lee Keltner because, you know, they may or may not be connected to some group that the far left says that they are. Because the instant these men were murdered, the people took to social media. Sean King, the activist, a Black Lives Matter activist, took to social media referring to the victims as white supremacists. Now, nothing in uh, you know their social media postings or their history or their line of work. Lee Keltner used to make hats before he died. He was murdered. Uh, nothing indicates that he was in any way uh, an extremist or a white supremacist. He was there at, a, at an event uh, organized by patriots, but a man who wrote 13 Hours. The book was turned into a movie, for God's sakes. Uh, he didn't, you know, he was not there as an extremist. He was there to support his country, to support his president, and he was apparently murdered for it.